Hi everybody, it's really good to see you today. I wanted to talk about the word love and you know, many of us have our own different interpretation, have you noticed, of the word love. Love does have a lot of strength and power in the word and um, I know that some of us have been shown a great deal of love as we were growing up as children. We felt love from our parents, um, our friends, neighbors, um, you know, just all kinds of ways. And then again, some of us may have felt the opposite. We don't even know the true meaning of love. It was never shown to us. Um, it was very unfortunate that our parents didn't show any kind of love. Perhaps maybe their own parents didn't know it either, so they pass it down. For whatever reasons, um, you know, there's uh, just a lot of misfortune with um, some of our upbringing. But did you know that whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them? And I hope and pray by the end of this video that you will get a little bit more of a grasp and handle of God's love and how God's love can rule in your heart and your spirit and help you to walk um, along better in his path um, on your life that how God has designed each and every one of you and um, how to live out his love. It says here in John 13 34, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. And that is a command given to us by God and it's just really hard sometimes to live up to a command. How can we, you know, know how can we love another person? But I really truly believe that it's only by the source of having God's love within each and every one of our hearts are we able to pass it along and give that love to other people. Because otherwise, as um, human beings, you know, we can be very selfish and very self-centered in all of our ways and think of that our lives are all about me, myself, and I. But I'd like to give you an example. Uh, recently this morning, you know, um, I have two sons and their names are Jason and Jordan. And Jason, he filmed a wedding video yesterday at an airport all day long. So he worked very hard. And my younger son, Jordan, he's a senior in high school and he's part of a marching band. And they had their big first competition. So a marching band, you know, you, is, is pretty much physically exhausting. So this morning, I know that they were both physically very, very tired. And once in a while, I do like to massage my sons um, throughout time when I know that physically they're very exhausted. So here I am, you know, doing my older son, Jason, a favor. And um, he really likes his Achilles <laughs> massage on his, by his ankle because he had a problem with his back in the past. So I like to really be there and massage him to relieve any kind of aches and pains from the hard work from the day before. And it's a nice chance, chance for me to ask, actually chat with my son too, to catch up and see what's going on and how he's doing. So I was doing that, and meantime, um, in the same room, my, my, both of my sons share a bedroom. My other son was waking up and he sees me massaging uh, Jason. And then later I went over to him and then I said, oh, Jordan, do you want me to massage you too? Because I know you had a very busy day. And he says, oh, no, mom, it's okay. You know, I, I'm sure you used up all your energy, um, you know, massaging Jason over there. And I said, oh, no, don't worry about it. So I said, just lay down and I'll just give him full body massage, his head, back, shoulders, legs, feet, hands, everywhere, <laughs> back and forth. You know, I grew up with massages, so I know exactly how it feels and it just relieves a lot of tension. So he was so sweet, he was thoughtful, he felt really bad that I just, you know, was willing to massage him as well. And I told him as I was massaging him, the source of my strength, Jordan, this morning comes from my mother's love for you. That I love that Princess Bride movie, you know, if some of you are familiar with that old movie, Princess Bride, you know, the, the guy who liked Buttercup says, uh, his, he expresses his love to her saying, you know, when she demands or asks him to put this away, do that for him, do this for her and that he would always say, as you wish. So that's how he expressed his love to the princess, as you wish. So I would say that once in a while teasingly to my sons, you know, when they ask me to do certain things, massage him or other stuff, I would say, as you wish, expressing my love. But I would tell Jordan, as I'm massaging him, don't worry, um, my, my hands are okay, I'm very strong. 
and the source of my love seriously comes from um, my strength comes from the love I have for you and that's how I think the key to the power of love and the source of our strength is that when it's there the love we're able to give a part of ourself whatever it may be physically I was able to massage my both of my sons mentally or in a heart condition of forgiveness or um, helping one another somehow some way any any form of love we're able to give to others and uh, that's just a beautiful source that only when God is able to give us his love we're able to receive it in our hearts are we able to give it to others and here in the Bible verse it says Romans 12 9 10 don't just pretend that you're that you love others really love them hate what is wrong Stand on the other side of the good. Love each other with a genuine affection and take a delight in honoring each other. So wow, wouldn't this world be a better place if we just uh, was able to just love each other, honor each other, hate what is good, hate what is wrong, um, and not to just pretend that we love other people, but to really make it true and for us to just please and honor God in our actions by our love for others. And it's just so sad, as I'm sure all of us, when we look around the world and see all the hate, the offense, the violence, the judgments, the cruelty, all of that is just, you know, seems to stem down to the broken core inside of us. And it's just sad. We just pity the people, all of us. We all have a broken core. And how greatly we are, we are in the need of Jesus and his love for each and every one of us. And I think that is what extends, we are able to expand, extend to others um, God's love. It says Mertha Teresa, what did she say? Love others. Um, and, uh, oh, I forgot the quote. I just, it just came to a blank. But it says a lemur's rob, you know, to see the face of God is to love others. That's what it says in the lemur's rob musical. And I'd like to give you another example of... Um, when Jason was in high school, he was a drum uh, major for his marching band, and he loved music with a passion. But he didn't want to give up, and he had um, a sciatic back pain. He had a nerve that was really, um, it was just excruciating back pain all four years of high school. He was in the marching band. And as a drum captain of his, um, drum, lead, drum major of the senior year, he didn't want to give up just because of the, um, the cripple effect of his back and he would just take four ibuprofen in the morning before school right before band practice so forth and um, he just have a hard time at home he couldn't there are days where he could walk to the front door or to sit down and eat with us or sit up and do his homework his back was just he was just really dying and any any of you who have back issues I'm sure that you can all relate somehow so I remember one day when um, I came home from a hard days of work, I had um, some back issues too. It wasn't as bad as Jason's, but it was pretty bad for that day. And then standing up being a hairstylist, um, you know, it takes a lot of physical energy. And I'll never forget um, what an impression that Jason made on me. The time when I drove home, I was in my garage. I pulled up my car in the garage um, after work. and. Um, I, I would got out of the garage, I opened the door, I got out, and I stood up, and I literally couldn't take my first step and move. <laughs> and my back, it just felt crippled. I couldn't walk. It was really, really bad. And I remember um, trying to call Jason or, um, to bring out the crutches, because he got some crutches for himself one day. So I needed some assistance, I needed some help. So I texted him. And uh, I remember that when I texted him, all of a sudden, and I knew that he has been prior uh, battling with his own back issue. And he told me this later that I'll share with you just right now, that he says, before I got home, he had a very bad day with his back, that he couldn't walk from his the living room, let's say, to his bedroom. So he literally had to crawl to his bedroom. And that's how bad he was in so much pain after a long day of uh, marching band practice and sitting in his classroom all day long. So not me not knowing this, um, 
you know, all I knew was that I came home, I needed some, I needed his crutches, I texted him. He comes out, opens the garage door with hunching over, bending forward. And I, I greeted him. I said, hi, Jason, can you give me your crutches? I've been having back pains and I literally can't move. I'm stuck. And he, wow, every time I think of this story, I start to tear up. I'm, excuse me. He would walk down the stairs, three stairs, to greet me. And now he sees me helpless <laughs> standing there in the garage next to my car. And he comes over and he gives me his arm and I hold on to his arm and both of us is just hunching over together trying to stick, take little baby steps walking to the door inside of our house one by one and as soon as we're like struggling to get into the garage door inside my bedroom um, I thanked him and we both made it and there's my bedroom and I just collapsed on my bed and laid down on my bed. <laughs> but he later told me is because of his great love that he had for me when he was struggling prior at home, crawling to his bedroom. When he got that text from me and he knew that I needed help, damsel in distress, somehow some kind of love power filled him, overwhelmed him gave him that strength and energy to come greet me in the garage and come down and walk with me, helping to support me into the house. Wow, if, I don't, if that's not crazy love, I don't know what is. And I want to share that with you is because that power and the strength of love, true love that a mother may have for the children or a husband or wife may have for each other or f true friendships or anybody in need, um, anywhere, that source, when we are so tired ourselves, when we're struggling, we don't, we disregard ourselves, the position where we're at, but we are there, our love is there to care for the other person for their well-being and their support to make their day a little bit better and a little bit brighter, any way possible. The way that my son Jason greeted me, and help me in the house the way that even though I was tired after massaging Jason from working hard I went next to Jordan and massaged his whole body that strength and power even though my hands were aching my arms were aching I was just massaging his whole back leg feet everywhere so I hope those examples may help you to consider God's power his strength his love that he has and only through Jesus' death on the um, cross and his resurrection, that spirit lies with each and every one of us as believers. And I pray that you're, you may be able to expand God's love to others today. God bless you. I'll see you next week. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.